friends and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today let's talk about everyone's favorite topic lately and that is masks. There are so many different face mask options out there and let's face it, honestly I think face masks are going to be around for a while, especially for if you plan on traveling, going out in public spaces. I work at a performing arts center and whenever we are back up and functioning, I'm gonna be wearing a mask forever. <laughs> so I went hard on the face mask. So with that in mind, let's dive right in. All right, here we go. So we all know how face masks are supposed to be properly worn. They are supposed to cover, yes, your face, your mouth, and your nose because guess what? Science says your nose leads to your lungs. Ah, who would have thought? Not me. Just kidding. I totally knew that. And I wear my mask the proper way. So I have 15 different brands of face masks that I'm going to show you today. And I'm going to tell you what I love about them, what I don't really like about them, and then we are going to see if they pass the candle test. What is the candle test, you ask? Thank you so much for asking. Well, science says the face mask only works the best if you are unable to basically breathe through it. You shouldn't be able to fog up a mirror, and you shouldn't, if you have a lighter in front of you, you should not be able to blow out a flame of the lighter or a candle or anything. Because the whole point is that we don't want any of your little dermies from your mouth or your nose out in the air. So let's start with a mask everybody knows, a lot of people love. It is the disposable face mask. Now these are great because they are super lightweight. They are disposable, so also like, I know that the environment is kind of shot lately now that we're like back to single use products because of the pandemic, but please be sure whenever you do throw your disposable masks away, you are snipping off these little fun things because we don't want little animals or fishies to be caught in them, please. So the disposable face masks, I'm going to, you should never like be touching, always wash your hands before you put on a face mask. This is also a reference of like what my face looks like. I do, from this whole mask thing, I realized I have a kind of a small, not a small head, but a small face. So this is what it looks like on me. Um, they do have the adjustable nose strap, which is great. I highly recommend an adjustable nose strap so you can make sure that not a lot of air comes out of here. And it is a little gappy, but people do say like if you twist it like this, and you can tuck, look, oh, so fancy. So this is a frame of reference of what a disposable mask looks like on me. Um, it's also great to like not have a lot of gap under your face. You basically wanna trap in everything. I'm just gonna do the other side here. Cool. Now, whatcha? it's a lighter. Okay, oops, <gasps> what just did that? Okay, so let's see if I can blow it out. So, the disposable masks pass the lighter. They're very comfortable, very lightweight. If you are, let's say you're traveling to Disney World very safely, we'll get into travel at another time. But a lot of people have said that the disposable masks are their favorite to wear all day. Like, of course, you want a cute one um, for walking around the parks taking pictures, but if you're going to be there the entire day, people say that disposable face masks are the most breathable and most comfortable, especially in the Florida heat. The disposable face masks, you can get them a lot of places, Target, Amazon, Walmart. I feel like lately they are a lot easier to find, whereas like a couple months ago, we haven't been able to find anything. All right, next I ordered some masks from Unique Vintage, which is one of my favorite boutiques. You can shop them online. I really like their masks because they're like the foldable ones, which I feel like I don't have a lot of. Um, it does have a place for a filter, um, if you wish. So let's try this one on. 
I did get a couple styles. Okay, so this one's cute. It does have a little, a little baby gap on my sides here. There is no adjustable nose strap, but it does like fit very nicely. Okay. Ready? <gasps> nope. It passed. Yay. Um, I love these masks. They're so cute. And that's without the filter in them. So just so you are aware. So super comfortable. I love their designs. I do have a couple of them. So unique vintage, super great. Okay, so the next one I have is from Bobble Bar. If you know Bobble Bar, you know their jewelry, like, but now they're making face masks and they're selling them at cost. So they're selling them in like a pack of two for like $12. So this is one of them. They are a little bit thicker. So maybe not as comfortable if you are going to be in like Walt Disney World in the middle of the summer. Um, so, but they're super, super cute. They do have adjustable straps. There is no place for a filter, but again, it's very, very thick. So let's try this. Let's try this puppy on. No, it is a little loose, so I'm just going to tighten these just a little. I want to tuck it so there isn't as much gap underneath, but it fits very nicely. There is not a nose, an, an adjustable nose piece, but it's so cute. I have, like I said, multiple different designs. Okay, let's try it. Nope. It passed. That's good. <laughs> because I have so many of them. But I really, really like these. Again, really affordable from Bobble Bar. And they have some really cute designs. You can see this one is like a textured blue, powder blue. So cute. So this next one is from a small shop, Pixie Lee & Co. Um, my friend Shelby actually owns it. And she makes so many cute Disney masks. She collaborates with so many other small shops as well. So they have their designs on her mask. These are great. Also adjustable straps. There is a nose piece here. Um, but let's try it on. Again, it's a little loose, so I'm going to tighten it. They're super lightweight, super comfortable. I feel like they're very breathable as well. All right. Yay. These are so great. Like I said, she sells a lot of different designs and then she also sells like the basic like black, gray, navy, maybe. But look at how cute. So let's talk about Target for a moment. So if you have seen Target sell packs of two masks for $4, so that's $2 a mask, I got a ladies mask. It was like their large, extra large, and it was huge on me. It was so big on me. Like I can't even do anything. So I did get their, oh, their other size for adult. I don't know if it was small, medium, or not. So let's try that one on. So it's still kind of big. Like you can see how much space there is under my chin. So much space. Um, it is comfortable, but it doesn't feel as secure. Um, again, we've, I have a smaller face. See, even when I'm like blowing it out, it's like going further down on my face. So it does pass the candle test. Um, I will say, so this is their smaller size. I did give it to my husband, the other one in the pack, and it fits him perfectly. So he really likes these ones and they do pass the candle test, so they are great. Um, yes, but I also got their children's masks, which are a little smaller. Um, they do have, these are like their Cat and Jack brand. And it does have an adjustable nose piece, so let's, ooh, ooh, mama. Oh, that's a little tight on my ears. <laughs> but it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Um, 
it is a little snug on my ears so I wouldn't be able to wear this for a long period of time but I love how it's secure to my chin and to my ears and I can breathe fine I can breathe fine in all of these okay so I did actually get a couple of these and I will say the other packs that I got um actually fit my face better um they fit around my ears better it's still the same great coverage but the ears were a little looser so I think it just depends on um pack to pack I guess I'm also gonna like say this just in case I am going to be washing these after I hand wash all of my masks I have a laundry bar I put them also I let them soak in a fabric sanitizer and then I let them dry overnight and then I put them in my phone soap which has like this UV light that kills germs <laughs> So don't worry, I will be washing all of these. Okay, next is another small shop based out of the UK called Fun Impossible. And she actually sent me this as a gift because she's a good friend of mine. I went to college with her. She's so kind. But I love how her masks come in these pouches. Like, so cute. I um, asked for her black rainbow. It has all these fun little, like, Disney quotes. Like, keep moving forward. It's kind of fun to do the impossible type of thing. So she does hand make these. So let's try it on. Okay, it is a little bit bigger. Again, I have a small, a small face. So cute. I love the design of it. It's so precious. <sighs> Yay! So these are super, super sweet. I, again, love First of all, handmade masks are amazing, um, but I love how it has like a little pouch too that you can just put it. So like when you're done using it, you can put it in there so it doesn't contaminate anything else in your bag. I love that. All right, next I have some masks from Lele Sadoe? Sadoe? Don't know, but they came in a pack of three. Um, I just thought they were super sweet. They are like the foldable kind. There is a place for a filter and then they do have adjustable straps as well. So this is trying on without a filter, FYI. So I love the way it fits on my face. Um, I have heard people say it was too small, but again, I showed you my frame of reference on the disposable mask, <laughs> but this is what it looks like. But I do love the way it fits. It nicely touches just the bottom of my chin and sits nicely at the top of my nose. It does not have an adjustable nose piece, but again, you can see there's like no gap or anything there. Wow, the bags under my eyes, excuse me. Let's try it. I did see it flicker for like a second, so I was like, oh, but no. <laughs> okay, next are the Stony Clover Lane masks. Um, these are a cotton mask. There is a tie for the ear loops with these cute little beads as well. Um, no place for a filter or there's not a nose piece either. So... Oh, mama. Oh, it's definitely too, it's definitely too big on me right now. Because <laughs> I was like, why is there such a large gap? So just to adjust, it's easy to, it is super cute. I love the beads. Also, I love tie-dye. I do have a pack of their other colors as well. You can see it's like, um, they're pink and green. And I know they just came out with more colors. So... It does go a little bit lower. There's a pretty decent gap here, but again, like if I tuck it nicely, it should stay, maybe. Okie dokie. Oh, oh, and when I blew it, it went down. So let me, it did blow out pretty quickly and pretty easily. So let me just make sure my mask is tight. I tightened it some more. Ooh, ow. Okay. So I do have it, tightening it up did 
help a little bit. So let's try it again. Oh. So, you know what? I have their pink one. Let me just test it because I know a lot of people are big fans of Stony Clover, so I don't want to like break any hearts. I have their pink one right here. Let's try. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so the Stony Clover masks do not pass the candle test. Um, they are super cute. I know a lot of people in the Disney community love Stony Clover for not only, obviously not for their masks only, but for their bags and stuff. So if you do want to wear these masks, because they are super cute, especially the tie-dye one is my favorite, please make sure you are wearing like a disposable mask underneath just to make sure you are fully covered and you have a proper working mask because as you can see, that was very easy for me to blow out the candle on both of those masks. All right, next we have Athleta. I was actually, my mom got their pack of five and she gave me one. It does have the nose piece and adjustable straps. This has been one of my favorite masks, I will say. It's so comfortable, so breathable, especially like if you're outside like walking, running, whatever it may be, or just like want a breathable mask like somewhere in Orlando or something like that. This is what it looks like on. There is a little bit of a gap right here, but if I just like tuck it, there, it should be good. Yes, so cute. I dropped, I dropped this, so I had to pick it up. It passes the candle test. So yep, these are super great. They do come in a pack of five. I think they have some other options as well, but I love them so much. The next one is from another small shop. This is from Happily Ever Tees. Um, she does a lot of Rifle Paper Company fabric, which I love so much. Um, but let's try this on. It's so cute. And it passes, yay! These are so cute. Um, she does have many other patterns as well, so definitely make sure you're following her on Instagram to see when her next mask release is. The next one is Love Your Melon. These are actually the first mask I ever bought for the pandemic. Um, I got this like super thick one and I kind of regret it, but I bought Jace, the, their cotton one, like it's so thick and I don't even know if I like how it looks to be honest. I did accidentally put it through the washer and dryer so it does look a little weird but it like doesn't fit me right. It is a little bigger. It looks, it's just not cute but let's try it. Okay, this one does pass the candle test. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something. I got Jace their cotton mask, um, just their regular cotton mask, and it does not pass the candle test. Granted, this was like the first time they have ever come out with masks, like back in March or April, early April, whenever it was, maybe March, I don't, rem I don't remember. So maybe their newer masks are different, I don't know, but the basic like triple layer cotton one that I got for Jace did not pass the candle test. So we actually, I think we threw it away. Not the cutest, but they were also like benefiting healthcare workers. Like if you buy a mask, they were going to give a mask. So I did that. The next mask I have, I actually got in my summer FabFitFun box, my spring FabFitFun box, but it's the brand Eight Other Reasons. It came in a pack of three. Um, and they're so lightweight and it was like black, pink, and blue. But I love them. They're just so comfortable. Hello, Winnie. Hi. Anyway, they're so comfortable. Um, really, really lightweight, like I said. So. And they passed the candle test. Um, 
I really like these and they're so like look at how thin they are I don't even know what kind of material this is but it's really really great I highly recommend it you can get them on their website you don't have to get them through FabFitFun like I did okay so like I said I work at a performing arts center so I work in theater so I had to get the playbill mask I don't even I don't even know if I've ever worn this but I was like when I go back to work I have to have a mask for shows Granted, like, I'm sure by the time we reopen, like, I will have so many more. Like, it's so fun. It is massive. Like, it's so... Look how far down that goes. So I can just, like, give it a little tickety-tuck. So when I did that, it's just kind of... There. That's better. Do you spot your favorite show? Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, no. Well, let me try it again. Well, that's a bummer. So it does not pass the candle test. Sorry if any of my coworkers are watching. This does not pass. So, noted. Yikes. All right, and last but maybe least, I don't know, is the Kitsch brand. So you can actually find these on Kitsch's website or on Ulta's website. So they come in a pack of three. I did buy six of them because I really, really like the designs. They're so stinking cute. And I love how they fit. I love how they look. They're so, so cute. So no adjustable nose strap, no place for a filter. So let's... Really? That was so easy for me to blow out. It was so easy. Okay, so I have six of these. So again, if you have the Kitsch mag magazine, Kitsch magazine, if you have the Kitsch masks, again, they are so cute. So. Either you can like try and open it up and put in like a filter type area thing or wear it over a disposable mask, but wearing it by itself is not going to safely protect you. So that's three of my masks. Kitsch, Stony Clover, and Playbill. Ugh, I'm really upset about that Playbill one. <laughs> so just so you know have to protect yourself, have to make sure you are fully covered and not able to spit out particles. I hope this was helpful. Um, I thought I would do this because I literally have, these are the only brands I have, but I have, oh! No, they are not the only brands I have. Oh my gosh, hold on. I don't know why I say that when I literally, literally have 50 Old Navy masks. I have 50 of these. Why? Because they're so inexpensive. It's like a pack of five for $12.50 and you can get like all your basic colors. So there's no adjustable nose strap or anything like that. They're just super basic, cotton, really breathable. Oh, don't break my heart because I have so many of these. Thank goodness because I am not kidding I have 50 50 of them my husband gets so mad every time I'm like hey I have a, a package he's like what'd you order and I was like nothing he was like Miranda you don't go anywhere you don't need a mask and I was like eventually I will go places and eventually I will need a mask and I will need a mask option for literally everything I own so Anyway, I hope that was helpful. I am a huge fan of masks. Um, I highly recommend that you do the same thing to make sure that you are safe and sound when you are out grocery shopping, if you have to run to the post office, if you do have to go into work, if you are traveling, being very safe while you are traveling. Um, definitely make sure that they pass the candle test. Um, that's the, a really big thing that scientists say, like if it doesn't pass the candle test, then it is not safely protecting you. It is not keeping everything in that should. But I want to know, I want to know so bad, where do you get your masks? Please link below. Let me know your favorite small shops. I haven't even like dove into the world of Etsy masks yet, which I really, really need to. So please let me know your favorite places to get masks or if you make masks, 
let me know as well. Um, clearly it is a shopping habit that I will not get out of ever in my life. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribing to my channel for any tips, tricks, whether it be Disney, travel, whatever it may be. And also make sure you are following my other social medias on Facebook and Instagram at The Magical Miranda. But thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Mask up out there. <laughs> Bye!